When I saw my first cotton top, I thought it was such an incredible animal, so majestic. You wonder why an intelligent person, a human, could harm such a noble animal. Every time I come to Colombia, I see that more and more forest has been cut. And that's because people who live in these rural communities that surround these forests live in poverty. They don't have a way to support their families. So they end up going into the forest, cutting down trees, capturing monkeys for the illegal pet trade so that they can get money to buy food for their family. This is a flagship species for the um, tropical dry forest of the northern region of Colombia. So uh, conserving it means conserving not only other species but the forest, which is one of the most threatened ecosystems in our country. I made my first trip to Colombia almost 25 years ago, and when I walked into the little villages, kids in Colombia had no idea that cotton top tamarins were found only in Colombia and that they were an endangered species. But today, 25 years later, I'm here to tell you that we've made a difference, and Proyecto TT has changed the lives of people living in rural communities. Now, when they hear the word cotton top tamarin, they know that they have got one of the most valuable monkeys in the world right in their own backyard, and they take great pride in wanting to help protect them. Well, Disney and Fundación Proyecto Titi have developed a very important partnership in the last uh, few years that has allowed uh, Fundación Proyecto Titi to develop all the scientific and environmental education work needed to conserve cotton top tamarind and therefore to conserve the tropical dry forest of uh, the northern region of Colombia. For me, conservation is all about creating opportunities for people. It's important that we're preserving and protecting habitat for cotton top tamarins because without that, the species won't survive. But protecting habitat is not the only thing. We've got to get people engaged in long-term efforts to protect these species. If they don't understand the value or if they don't care about the future of the forest, it's never going to be successful. So Proyecto TT has developed a program that not only has a very strong scientific component, but we know more about cotton top tamarins than just about any other species around. We also are very committed to training the next generation of kids. Kids in Colombia love to have something tangible in their hands. And that got us motivated to think about, could we use storytelling as a way to bring some of the cultural aspects back into the lives of these kids and get them excited about conservation? We've developed what we call the Cartitilla. One of the great things about the Cartitilla program is it allows us to tell a story in a very visual way. The Cartitilla has lots of beautiful pictures and great words, so not only are we getting kids excited about conservation, but we're helping them to become better readers as well. When I see kids using the Cartitilla, I feel very proud and excited that all this material, educational material, we put together uh, to teach kids about conservation of cotton top tamarinds in the forest is having such a great effect on their lives. Kids come running into the classroom with their little Cartitilla books wanting to know what happens to Tito TT. Is he going to be able to survive in the forest? What can they do to help our little character, Tito TT? And now, with our plush cotton top tamarind program, kids can take their little cotton top home, and if you ask them what the name of their little cotton top is, everyone says it's Tito TT. I was challenged by Anne to make cotton top plush tamarinds that could be sewn by hand. Ann called me and said, would you go to Columbia with me and teach women in a village how to sew? And of course I said yes. Together, Ann and I taught them how to sew and make a cotton top plush tamarind from start to finish, cut out from a pattern, sew, and do all of the finish work. They also had to embroider the facial features. The Proyecto TT team has continued to work with the women and teach them about environmental initiatives. They've taught them about business, and they continue to teach them and their children about how to protect their local environment. So the whole program has worked together not only to protect the TTs, but to teach the locals as well. One of the exciting things about working in rural communities is seeing how these kids develop over time. So we take about 20 kids that have come through our Kartikia program and take them to the next level, get them really involved in hands-on conservation issues. And one of the things that they get to do is work on designing a binde, a small little cook stove that burns fuel more efficiently. And what's great about it is that these kids become incredibly creative. You know, in a community that really has nothing, opportunities to be creative is a whole new avenue for these kids. They get to explore new things. So we teach them how to make a binde out of clay. And then we give kids clay and watch what they do. We first get the mud and remove the rocks from it. And then we shape it into a binde. 
We've learned that bin days burn less fuel. We use ten sticks cooking over an open fire. Now in a bin day, we burn only three. Bin days also produce less smoke, so it is better for our health. Now I'm hoping to save the forests, and I'm protecting cotton tops. Proyecto TT and the Artisans Group in Los Limites have recycled more than three million plastic bags. Proyecto TT has changed the way people live in Colombia by training them on a variety of different alternatives. It could be taking plastic bags, cutting them into strips and creating these amazing tote bags called eco mochilas. Not only are we cleaning up the environment, but we're empowering women to make a difference in their own lives. To be able to utilize something everyone disposes of and turn it into something useful is very gratifying. The quality of life for the women making eco mochilas has improved. Families that only eat once a day are now getting three meals a day. Kids who had no shoes or books to go to school are now starting the school year with all their supplies. We are very proud of these changes. Uh, we thank Disney's Worldwide Conservation Fund for their support to our community work. One of the uh, one biggest accomplishments in the, the last year has been the, the building of the conservation center in the village of Los Limites where our Eco Mochila project is based. And uh, by building this conservation center, which is the first center we will have in the region to uh, protect cotton top tamarinds, we are going to be able to do much more in expanding our community work and as well as our environmental education programs and uh, being able to reach more people and get them committed to the conservation work we develop in the area. It's great to see how the community has improved in helping the environment with our work. Everything we talk about has become a reality, and you can see it. The Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund has really changed the lives of kids in Colombia. Before, they had no idea that cotton tops were such a special and important species to save. And now, kids in Colombia care about wildlife, and they're going to make a difference for the future. People ask me why I'm involved in this project all the time. They, they, they say, why are you going to Colombia? And I say, simply, I'm going to Colombia because I believe in the importance of this little monkey, the cotton top tamarind, and people's lives in this region are being changed every day because of the work Proecto TT is doing to save the cotton top tamarind. I'm here to tell you that conservation is a long-term investment, and it's a long-term investment because it requires people on the ground that are committed to making a difference for wildlife. And there is a lot of work that needs to be done, particularly in countries where education is, is not a high priority. But when you work with kids and you can see the difference that it makes in their lives, and now when you talk to them and they talk about protecting the forest instead of cutting down the forest, you know you've made a difference. We need your help and support to save the cutest monkey in Colombia, the cotton top tamarind. <laughs>